the chamber orders the prosecution to file a notice confirming whether it anticipates being in a position to start trial on the provisionally scheduled commencement date of 7th October 2014. Quote unquote. That's the ICC trial chamber's order to the office of the prosecutor, noting that the trial start date was drawing closer and no word as to whether the prosecution had made progress in gathering more evidence was forthcoming. Judges Kuniko Ozaki, Robert Fremer, and Geoffrey Henderson gave Bensuda until Friday next week, 5th of September, to file the notice. The president's defense team and the legal representative of victims in the case have also been asked to file responses to the prosecutor's notice by 10th of September. In February this year, when the trial was supposed to commence, the court was forced to hold a status conference instead after the prosecutor requested for an indefinite postponement of the case to give her time to rebuild the case. At the time, Ben Suda revealed that two key witnesses had withdrawn, weakening her case considerably. She said, quote, Having carefully considered my evidence and the impact of the two withdrawals, I have come to the conclusion that currently the case against Mr. Kenyatta does not satisfy the high evidentiary standards required at trial. End of quote. She also sought the court's intervention to compel the government of Kenya to cooperate with her office and furnish it with confidential documents and records that would back her claims that President Kenyatta financed Mungiki revenge attacks in Nakuru and Naivasha during the post-election violence in 2008. We would respectfully submit that there must be material within the possession of the government of Kenya which contains numbers which were associated with him. Not a single witness statement saying a company did this or a company did that or anyone was transferred shares or paid dividends uh, within the ranks of the Mungiki. And I put it in that sarcastic way because, Madam President, our patience is really at a an end. Sylvie Chibet, Citizen Live at Nine.